Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with King of the Bridge again. Um, again, continuing because we we did beat the troll at his own game last video, but due to the fact that there's multiple endings, we got a bad ending because we chose to cheat because every time that he cheats and we catch him, we're able to cheat in retaliation. So now we have to try and beat him without cheating, which basically gives him a huge advantage because um, in a lot of cases he cheats to uh, pretty much just, uh, you know, take advantage of uh, the fact that we ourselves can't cheat. Um, yeah, sorry. The other thing that had me interested is that the Steam store page says that there is 30 plus rule pages and I wonder why they would say that if the base game only had 30 pages. So I'm also thinking that because we've beaten the game once there may be some sort of a progression like an inscription. I know that there's a lot of things that we don't know how they work. We can go ahead and at least start here. Um, example being that bishops leave, uh, gifts. And apparently if we get two rooks together, they form a castle, which creates scrap over real time. And that might have something to do with something. Hmm, yes, yeah, so they are going to add more, uh. They are going to add more rules as we go. Anyways. I'm going to start out with our, uh, I almost, uh, did a two forward. We can't do that in this game. It's illegal. Uh, it's referred to as a big brain play. We're going to see if we can't get away with castling in this game. And how about we would go about that. Yeah, so I don't know if castling is possible, because if I would have put left uh, the king on that space, Keck. then uh, that's another rule where you can't have uh, two pieces sharing the same location. Um, if you take that, I can move sideways to get you in this game. Hmm. I don't know if we've learned technically what the deal is. Okay, bishops drop their gift of knowledge whenever they leave a tile. The horse is not the only one who can jump over this. So the horse can. We don't know who else can. <clears throat> I 
I don't want to stay on that space. So let's move him up here. Ayo. So the rook is able to pass over that. Alright. They also see something about the king doing as he pleases. Bruh, the gifted knowledge was too much. My my mind literally exploded. Escape? No idea what the heck that just did. Anyways, let's start out with this this time. He reciprocates. You have moved my piece. Cancel. I don't know what I did. Um. There we go. I may cheat, but I won't. I suppose I should have thought of that, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh. a slippery space. Oh! End him! We gotta know. The only thing that I can think is maybe pawns work out of town, therefore they're allowed to leave the board. No pieces can move outside of the board unless they work out of town. But there's also one. Pawns are actually a metaphor for the invisible worker trolls. Does that mean that they work out of town? We're about to find out. Black Pawn did not support the monarchy? What the frick? There's like 20, right? There we go. I may cheat this turn. Well, as we said before, I do not want to cheat. So let's put ourselves... Right there. Hmm. That was a big brain play. You can't do that. Yeah. 
I actually did blink. Um... A little afraid to release my rook because obviously he gets to go next. He doesn't always make the best plays. If I release my rook, he takes the rook. I can get my queen out here and then she can start terrorizing in this fashion. Obviously not taking this piece in particular because pawns can move sideways in this game. And they also have a bishop right there. But uh, we'd be able to get her out, maybe even up over here. Fiddle around with their uh, bishop. Could really wreck their back line. I think that's a... Hmm. I might still want to do that because if we put these two together, that'll make a tower. Or, um. Two towers aren't not adjacent, they form a castle. Last time they put it on my side. I'm wondering if it, there's any reason why I wouldn't want to put it over on their side. Restricts their options. Um, maybe developing my board is better, but I've kind of left myself in a place where it's hard to develop my board. Besides, maybe I don't want to move my queen here because he can cheat for free. And I lose a, uh, a queen for it. That's not true. He definitely didn't travel in the direction of X. Ah, uh, only he. That's how we're going to get him. Black Rook is not him. Queen may not have an affair if she touches the opposing king. It is considered cheating. Understood. I feel like if his 
queen would take my queen, though, that wouldn't be appropriate. Because, yeah, I would accuse him of cheating, but the play usually still stands afterwards. So then I still just wouldn't have a king. <laughs> All right, um, going back to what we were here for. Um, I really don't see any good plays for me. Am I on the same? I am. So you can't really harm my king. My bishop can take care of you in retaliation. Um, how do we do anything here, though? It's very awkward that all the slippery tiles are on one side. It almost doesn't even pay to accuse you. However, I will never allow a pawn to move big brain. This one I gotta be careful of. I don't know what I expected.
Hmm. I don't think it's worth it to take that piece. Oh, you stood up? Okay. Well, then if you're not going to take the bait, I think I'm going to stand up. Force your rook to move. Or don't. Now, I'm not allowed to take his king with my queen. I'm going to assume for a moment that he knows that. Were they really? Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Um. Pretty spooked of that bishop. Not gonna lie. You're allowed to move my queen. Are you trying to get my queen to touch your king? I would then be able to call you out on that per the rules. Because you would be cheating, not me. If she touches the opposing king. Gotcha. 
Also kind of cute. It's considered cheating. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to strand my queen. Am I softlocked because he's outside the board? At least as far as a not cheating standpoint? You just don't want me to set up, do you? <sighs> Trolls, am I right? I better get my king away from that. I got an achievement for failing to accuse. I didn't fail to accuse, I just decided not to. Don't give me with that voodoo, Ricky Bobby. I don't think I can actually do anything to him if he moves in on me here. Like, if he takes this bishop, I can get him. If he takes this rook, I can't. There's no way that I can set myself up to do so. Is there anything stating
that the king cannot take a piece. Because, oh boy, would it be awkward. If I move out that space, then I can't move on to it. I don't know why I moved that there. I'm frickin'... losing my friggin' mind here. I'm not scared of losing you. At least I don't think I am. I'm just not thinking far enough ahead. Then he just cheats. just died we did it gang and we got to cross the bridge this time unlock the good ending
after 19 attempts. Hey, the first 15 of those were data. It took me one hour, one and a half hours. Well, I would say that that was a pretty good time for $3. Uh, as always, the link to this game should be in the description below. If uh, you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, concerns, comments, misplay alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments as well. Otherwise, yeah, I, I'd like to say that I enjoyed my time with this game. There's obviously other stuff we can do. We can figure out what the scraps are for. We can figure out what the gifts are for. There's a couple of rules that we still haven't unlocked yet. And, I mean, it's just fiddling around at that point. Especially with uh, some of the complexity of them. Like, um, who can and cannot pick up the gifts of knowledge. Apparently the Black King can't get trolled. Anyways, yeah, I wasn't actually expecting to beat this today. Anyways, I'll catch you guys around.